hey guys welcome back to the channel daniel here from golden finds and we are back in the stores trying to see what we find at home goods marshall's and tg maxx and ross for the christmas season so we're going to come across some radon finds we see here the elf mug i personally am not a big fan of elf so there i said it you guys yes i'm probably the grinch speaking of the grinch we have these really cute mugs that are so cute for the holiday season this one is max and then we also have some grinch right there that you guys can see i love that it comes with the christmas hat moving on to the decor i love these nutcrackers these are ceramic they're kind of giving me like the target vibes but these are like 10 times bigger and adorable and i always love a good piece that is very heavily inspired by vintage pieces just like this angel right here it's definitely giving me vintage vibes and i love that it has a little light up candle as well now these little elves are not really my favorite they might be fairies actually but then they don't have wings so i think they're supposed to be elves those are 19 dollars 99 now moving into marshall's i found a little bit more of ray dunn we have this cozy ceramic penguin that is really cute 16 dollars 99 i love a little beanie on top and these aren't the measuring cups that i'm hoping to find but they are still absolutely cute these are from Slay Hill and they are penguins. Let me know in the comments below, you guys, if you have found any Ray Dunn measuring cups for the season or any of the other cute measuring cups that everyone has been posting on Instagram. There's definitely a wide arrangement of different measuring cups for the holiday season. So let me know which are your favorites. Here are a few of the kitchen towels. These gingerbread ones are really cute and adorable. We have Mimi's Kitchen. We have this three pack that says Joy and then the leave these are very classic in the red green and white and then the green one says mary so they do have really cute towels nana's kitchen like i said mimi's kitchen so these are really cute if you're looking for any bath towels or kitchen towels and then i also found this candy cane lane i really love this mug handle the candy cane it's not the one that i'm looking for but it was still really cool to find it and i also saw this one as well that says no owl with the poinsettia and the nice green color on the inside not bad for the price and it is a double-sided print and also the let it snow this one is very plain and simple but sometimes simple is what does the trick so this was a really cute one as well Have you been naughty? Have you been nice? Or did you try? Have you guys checked off any one of these? It's not too late. You still have time if you want to make it on the naughty, on the nice list. Unless you do want to stay on the naughty list. I don't know what I am. I'm probably in between to be honest. Then there was this other Radon mug that has the snowman. This is one of those very classic ones with the snowman wearing the beanie and the mittens. That nice bright red on the inside. Here's a few couple Disney finds. This one is Mickey Mouse. This is a cute candy dish. And the Santa sack is where you place all the treats. Then there were these nutcracker canisters. These are really cute. They're really large, actually. They definitely could fit a lot of things in here. And they have two different variations. They have this one and then a pink one that you guys will see. Here is a Grinch mug. Really cute and adorable. Grinch is very, very just like definitely something that you will see for the holiday season here is the mickey canister now i know a lot of people were going crazy for these last year so they definitely came back but going back to the grinch the grinch is just like a staple for christmas and you definitely either love it or hate it i love the original cartoon and the movie with jim carrey i have n i have no interest in seeing the new animated version um that was made by um universal i just don't know i don't know i, I, I by illumination i don't 
think I really am interested. I've seen previews of it, but I'm just not a big fan of it. It doesn't entice me to want to see it, so I'll stick with the two originals. Here are some cute neutral decor. These ears are really nice. They're giving me like a wood-like texture, but they're actually hard resin. So these are really nice. I love that copper finish that they have. They also have them in this finish as well. So Marshalls definitely has a lot of cute finds. You guys are going to have to wait and see. This Rudolph is so adorable. Who remembers the animated versions of these in the clay? Those movies are such classics. I see them every year and I will be definitely seeing them a year, you know, this year again. But going back to the decor, let me know if you guys have already started decorating or you're still waiting for Thanksgiving. I know that a few may not be ready for the Christmas season, but I actually am. I have already put up my tree, but only the tree. It's not decorated. I'm currently decluttering and cleaning my house, getting it ready for the Christmas season. So make sure to stay tuned for that video because I will be doing a Christmas tree decorate with me. But I feel like I'm being very picky this year. This mug is really cute. It's like the same handle except it says Joy and it's in red. And this Snow White. It's not Christmas, but this was something new that I had not seen in stores before. I love this big teacup and it comes with its saucer. And then it says Snow White in the front and on the back it has Snow White. And I really love this beautiful print color of Snow White. She is definitely the fairest of them all. So I'm being very particular in what I'm bringing home because I don't want to overdo it and I'm being very picky on what makes it home. So you guys will have to make sure to stay tuned for a ginormous haul and I know I'm saying that I'm not really buying anything but I have accumulated things that I have not shared and I'm just going to make it into one ginormous haul so make sure to stay tuned for that and here we are heading into Ross to see what we can find. Ross had these really ginormous bells. They're really nice and they're actually not bad for the price at all, you guys. So if you are looking for something as large as this to decorate an open space in your home or your front porch, then I definitely recommend that you head into Ross to check out what they have because they have so many ginormous bells in different finishing colors so you will definitely find something i love this hurricane bowl with the frosted berries i thought that was really nice you could put like a candle on the middle here is another peak of another bell i really love the finish on this one that copper brown tone is absolutely gorgeous if i had the space you know if i had a larger porch in my home then i definitely would have bought in a few of those here are a few signs. Ross is another place that you want to hit up as well if you're looking for any particular signs. I honestly feel like Ross is definitely the place this year for some really nice signs and they are inexpensive and you can find a lot of different ones and larger ones. This little mug is really cute with that whipped cream topping and the little candies on top. Then we have these vintage inspired espresso mugs that are Santa. These are really cute and adorable. Again, being very, very picky, but these made it almost home with me. But I decided not to just because I already do have a lot of Christmas mugs. And you guys will have to stay tuned for an inventory video as well. I will be sharing some of my key feature pieces that I have collected over the years. This mud pie mug was really nice. I like the little added pom-pom at the end. That was such a cute mug, actually. It would be a nice gift. And then there were these mugs. These I have bought in before, and I ended up just donating them because I really don't know why I ended up buying them. But they were really cute at the moment, um, but I wouldn't be making that same mistake again this year. I do love that they come with a wood... Um, 
it's not a topper these are actually used as a coaster so they're really cute and these would make a nice gift for any one that is looking for a mug but it's definitely heavily in inspired by ray dunn for sure and i was actually surprised to have found some jim shore ross has been getting a lot of interesting brands like blue sky and also jane you know jim shore i never really expected it and then i found some of these candy cane pillows now i know that there's a lot of viral candy cane pillows going around and i only found one this one kind of reminded me of a dog toy so i didn't really <laughs> think that i would want this uh, but the one underneath that one is way better now these definitely became popular because of the pottery barn ones and now there's like several dupes and every store has its own which we all know tends to happen a lot every store will get its own dupe of a really hot item that everyone is looking for just like whether it's gingerbreads whether it's measuring cups whether it's pillows you name it so they do have quite a variety at Ross. This is a really nice piece, this little snowman. It looks like a cookie. It's actually really large. And I actually found one of those at Goodwill last year. Then I saw this candy cane sign. This was really nice. I'm telling you guys, Ross is definitely the place if you're looking for signs to decorate your home with. They also had some really cute gingerbread houses that I thought were really great for the price that they were asking for. And I just wanted to let you guys know, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here on Golden Finds, if you like thrifting, going to estate sales, finding vintage treasures, decorating for Christmas or for Halloween, this is the channel for you. I do welcome you guys to hit that subscribe button and become a member here of our family on Golden Finds. Make sure that you like this video if you're loving this content and make sure you're hitting the notification bell. Now, this hot cocoa sign was everything. It's absolutely gorgeous you guys and again not bad for the price at all so that was a really nice piece i absolutely love it for those of you who are making cocoa you know hot cocoa bars or coffee bars you know decking your coffee bars for the holidays definitely head to ross this was such a cute candle holder i love that big peppermint candy so we're coming to the end of the video you guys thank you so much for tuning in for today's shopping session make sure to drop in the comments down below if you would have picked up any of these awesome finds for the christmas season what would have made it home with you in your shopping cart Make sure to drop down the comments and let me know. I love enjoying our chit chat sessions and make sure to stay tuned again for that haul. Now, just to leave you guys with this last piece, this snowman was absolutely adorable. I wanted it so bad. I can't have it plain. It says, let it snow. It sings it, but it was such a nice piece for it being from Ross. So again, do not leave Ross out of the game. Make sure to head on over and check out what they have. Until the next time, you guys, have a wonderful day whenever you are watching this. Bye.